In this video, I'm going to show you how to completely glitch out a safety for a one-play touchdown against the most effective and most meta defense in Madden. What's going on, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, make sure to click the subscribe button. We've got videos that are coming every single day that can help you get better on offense and on defense in Madden 22. This is our Gun Tray Open mini series we're doing on the Gun Tray Open out of the Minnesota Vikings playbook. If you want to get my entire um, guide on this formation, and uh, then just basically all you got to do is join the True Fan membership. It's five bucks a month super cheap it helps me uh, it just helps me basically be able to keep doing this for you guys so if you want to get access to this entire guide all you have to do is join the true fan membership i'm going to put a link to it down in the description but we're talking today about pa wide receiver and this used to be one of the most effective plays in madden um and for years and it's still really really good and it's actually the concept that we're going to use to get a one play touchdown against cover three. So PA wide receiver in. And what you're gonna notice here really quickly is we're gonna go to this setup um, really when we know that they're running a lot of Mabel. Okay, if they're running a lot of Mabel, this is the play that I love to go to. And what you gotta do is you have to be on the short side to be able to run this. So you see that at my trips, my, my three receivers are to the short side. And the setup is honestly super simple. All we're doing is we're streaking the X. And then I personally, um, for, I'm going to show you the first way, which is the more effective way, and then I'm going to show you another way. So we'll come back circle. Now watch X. So just watch his safety. You'll see he'll completely dumb out just like that. Pass lead inside. Absolutely dot. It literally will freeze the safety. The, the safety will literally freeze the middle of the field. Some cover three bombs. This is really important to understand. Some cover three bombs, they just kind of get him to move for a second, and then he can recover. What I like about this one is it doesn't matter what they do. Um, it, 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 he's not going to bite and recover. He's going to bite, and he's not going to come back to the play. And as you see, we're able to dot this up every single time. One play touchdown against cover three every time. Every time. Okay, you can run this with uh, Rob Gronkowski right there, and it'll be a touchdown. Okay, so really, really good concept. So now let's expand on it a little bit. And what we're going to do to expand on it is we're going to use a slant okay so if i take x and put him on a vertical then all i'm going to do is i'm going to take circle i'm going to put him on a slant and i'm going to motion him to the left and what you're going to see happen is we should still get the same concept here this two-man vertical uh, absolute laser so you'll see he still gets this you still get the dot you still kill cover three but now you're going to kill everything else too okay we're going to take it up a notch that slant route takes everything to the next level because not only will the slant be a good read against man, but it's also a tremendous read against zone. Why? Because of this wheel route to R1. We have not used a lot of wheel routes this year. If you've watched any of my videos, most people haven't. Most people haven't used a lot of wheel routes because wheel routes aren't that good this year. But watch this. Pass lead that to the right. You've got a chance to hit that. Um, really, and, and moreover, let's talk about um, the adjustment to the adjustment. So. The adjustment to the adjustment and how they're going to defend this as soon as you get them if you get them one time they're going to do this they're going to put their corners um they're going to put their corners in deep halves which means they're going to basically play inverted coverage so you see they're inverted they're inverted they're inverted and then they can come back on this so now what i can do though is let's say that they put and this is important to pay attention to here let's say they put a curl flat zone as they're underneath mabel so you've got Mabel coverage across the board, but what you've got is you see here, I've got a curl flat, okay? Curl flat zone, really, really important to understand the difference between a curl flat and a seam flat. If it's, if it's, even if they put their zone drops on the field, if it's a curl flat zone, you'll see it'll go vertical. And then I should be able to throw that route. And I think the reason I wasn't able to throw the route is because I might need to put circle on a drag. I'll show you him on a drag instead of a, a slant. So let me show you him on a drag first. But what you'll see is that this purple should go vertical. So streak, drag, and basically I've got a nice little back. This is a great passing concept, whether or not it is a bomb. See how he goes? And now he kind of rises, and I can check down to the drag. So if they if they take everything away, I can easily just check it down to the drag. All right? If, if everything's covered, I can easily check this down to the drag. A lot of times that drag or that wheel will get matched by the curl flat. 
Um, in this example, it's being a little bit finicky, but a lot of times it will get matched by the curl flat. And so it's going to leave, even if it doesn't get matched, like if it's a seam flat, you'll see here your drag's still open for an easy 10 yards. All right, I love motion snap drags against this. Now, another thing you can do if you want to send five out. So let's say you want to send five out. And we know that they're going to do that, right? They're going to deep half to try to defend this. Well, this is where I really like to leverage the power of a running back wheel. So just a simple running back wheel route. And what you're going to find from this is this late, late, late in the play, this wheel route is going to um, just open up space for us to be able to hit the, the dig route, okay? So you're gonna have that. Now, if you want to, you can actually create a concept. You're still gonna be fine with the cover three bomb, and I'll show you that real quick. So if I take circle, and when I motion him, I'm gonna put him on a flat. So I have a basically a double flat, maybe, if I could get the running back to do his thing. This is still gonna work. Your cover three concept is still gonna kill. As you'll see here, he stops, passing inside, absolute laser. But what this does is it opens up a lot of space for your running back to now be able to work. So if their user goes to the vertical, well, then now you've got basically a read on where their user is. Okay, so now you've got this route, which pulls these zones out of the way. And now I can pass lead that inside and absolutely dot a Mabel cover just like that. So those are really simple little concepts that you can use to absolutely obliterate a Mabel coverage. The real core reality of this concept is what you need to beat Mabel coverage. You need this in route to square, you need a streak, and then you need either a comeback or a flat, okay? You either need a comeback or a, a not a flat, but a wheel route. That's all you need. Everything else can be hot routed and you're gonna kill it every time. You see here, he's just gonna completely freeze, and it's just an amazing cover three beater. It absolutely kills the coverage. So, thanks for watching the video. That's how you kill it. If you're getting a lot of Mabel out of this offense, run this. It's gonna force them to deep half or play cover four. One thing I didn't hit on, one I, I forgot to talk about this. One thing I didn't hit on is uh, if they do go to cover four, let me just show this. So let's say they go to cover four and do this. We're just going to do that. So they go to cover four on you. Um, this is why I like to slant. So if they go to cover four on you, this will take care of this. It should take care of the streak. As you're going to see here, it takes care of the streak. But the slant is a good read against cover four. The other thing that's good against cover four is this can basically set the defense up. We can basically use this, uh, this concept to set the defense up for another concept that will kill cover four. We'll talk about that in a future video. But if they do go cover four and they catch you in the wrong, like in the wrong thing, um, one thing I do also like about this is I can leave this skinny post. So if I want to leave the skinny post, I can. You'll see it'll still beat the cover three. But now cover four has a chance to get bombed. And it doesn't out of three, three, five wide because the three, three, five wide cover four is really good. But if that's a cover four drop, I could bomb that. Let me show you that route combo real quick um, against the Mat or the Mabel. So literally all I do is streak X. That's it. And I just snap the ball. And if you watch this against Mabel, um, you're going to see here. He drags him out of the way. It's not as good against cover three, but it is something you can do to kind of use it against cover four. So, and we'll go over that a little bit later. But bottom line is, if you're getting a lot of cover three, this is the play that you want to go to. Um, it's really simple. I mean, there's really nothing to it. You and, and the thing is, you can drag circle from that side. You don't have to bring him in motion. You can drag him all the way across, and you'll see he's still going to freeze. He's still going to freeze every time. So, and look how much separation. That's just so much separation in cover three. It's insane. So thanks for watching. If you want to beat cover three, use this. If you want the full guide um, and that can beat every defense and just really make offense a lot of fun, uh, then all you got to do is join the True Fan membership. It's just five bucks. It helps me keep doing what I'm doing. So if you want to join the True Fan membership, there's a link in the description that you can click. That'll get you all set up.